1889, William Dean of the Great Western Railway built locomotive number nine, an experimental 424 express tank. Unsuccessful. It did, however, help in the development of his 3031 class of 1891, the iconic Great Western Dean Singles. And in this video, we'll be looking at how to build the Newman miniature kits of these two engines. Much is standard of the construction, as with other models in the range and detailed in other videos. For example, the use of little strips of plastic to hold the wheels in place. The driving wheels, similarly, are ordinary farish parts which just need to have the crank pin filed down. Weight in the engines is mostly in the bogies, there is an area specifically for it in the underside, but also in the firebox area at the back, so it's pushing down on the rear of the engine and the main driving wheels rather than the front. This is again just like the Sterling single model we also provide. What is of particular note for these engines consists of the front bogies. Now, as you can see here, they're intended so that a regular NEM engage coupling can be fitted. This can simply be glued straight on, but for extra strength, a small shim of plastic can be added on top, as you see. You'll also notice in this picture a small square of one millimeter thick styrene plastic added on top of this. And this marries up to a shim of similar one millimeter thick styrene underneath the running board betw uh, between the frames as you can see in this picture. The two parts therefore rubbing against each other giving an easier surface and ensuring that the top of the bogey is free from the bottom of the running board. You might also find it useful to have a second piece of plastic so both wheel sets on the front bogey have support above them. This is mainly a case of experimentation but appears to be highly effective. The last element regarding the front bogey is the drawbar. Now this is simply a piece of brass with two holes drilled in it, connecting the locomotive itself to the mounting point on the bogey. In the case of the Dean single, this is 11 millimeters between the centers of the holes. In the case of the Dean tank, this is 10 millimeters. Again, simple to do, but that measurement does make life easier. As for the Dean tank in particular, there are two small little extras. Now, firstly, there is a rendition of outside valve gear on these engines. All this needs to be done is painted and slotted straight into the holes, but do make sure that they don't foul the main driving wheels. Secondly, you'll notice that the bunker is a separate component. This is to make it easier for fitting crew for painting the cab. But once you've glued it in place, you'll notice that there are two small holes in it and two corresponding holes in the roof. You can then slide wire stanchions down into these holes, add a bit of filler to the top of the roof, sand it down, and it gives a nice strong connection for those particular stanchions. And so we have it. The Dean Experimental Express Tank and the iconic Sterling Single, fully operational in all their glory. I hope this was of interest and of use, and thank you for watching.